Oh my god, I don't even remember my intro. Like, what did I even used to say? Oh, I remember. <laughs> okay, let's go. Subscriber. OG. Wait, I said that wrong. Oh, I'm trying, guys. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I haven't said that in so long, it feels. This is my first video, I think, in like two weeks almost. Um, I've been going through some stuff. I won't get into it. I'll tell you more in the description box. My backdrop is different. There's reasons for all of that. I had some technical issues. Like, there's been a lot going on, and I'm really sorry. But today, I can finally film because I can finally edit. And I'm hoping that I can edit and upload this video on the same day as well. Which, today is August 3rd. So, if I did achieve my goal, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you are new, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Out of all of the ones that were suggested to you, it means so, so much. And if you are a returning viewer, clicker, subscriber, OG, thank you a little bit extra. I tried um, a new ColourPop palette and all that stuff, but you know what? Y'all aren't here for that because today's video is not makeup related. So, But if you are curious about my makeup, I will have the video tutorial of this on my Instagram because today's video <laughs> is not about that. Today's video we are dragging everyday people to filth basically for being jerks to customer service people so if you're curious about the other stuff that's been going on in my life I'll just leave a little more updates in down below in the description box because I don't want this video to be too too long and um, all my socials are down there all that good stuff so okay so let's jump into the first story hmm. which one should I do first so today I have four stories usually I do three but I have two that are really short, but I wanted to include in this video, so let's start off with one of the longer ones. So, I worked, this was years ago at a restaurant I don't work at anymore. I always want to disclose that because I don't want anyone who, like, knows me personally think I'm talking about anyone at my current restaurant. I try not to include stories like that, um, because I just, I don't like, I don't think that's a good idea. Anyway, so, restaurant years ago, corporate restaurant, um, I was closing and I was the last person on and it was typically would only go down to one or two closers but if it was really slow it would just be one person so i was the only one there so it's i'm not kidding you about 10 minutes to close and this guy walks in and he is like looking around like really antsy kind of trying to like find someone so i go up to him and i'm like hi how are you what can i do for you and he goes so i have 10 of us and we're really hungry we've come a long way is there any way that you would be able to cook us dinner and i was just like Ugh. You know you know the feeling so I said let me check with my manager and check with the cooks because it is really close to close we may not be able to take a party of your size and he kind of seemed a little frustrated even though he was really nice at first but I was just like all right clearly maybe as hungry kids he didn't even tell me if there were kids or not he probably had like hungry kids with him so I go to my manager and of course because it's corporate place they care about every single dollar I mean, don't blame them, but it's kind of like come on I knew where I was too there's many other restaurants around us that were open much later that I could have directed him to that were right down the street, but no. They didn't care about my time, that I was ready to go, that I had class in the morning. No, 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 they didn't care. Party of 10, bring them in. The cooks were, was the closing cook was so mad too, but anyway, so we're all frustrated, but our manager told us we had to take it, so we had to take it. So I said, I only have, you know, like, We've closed down most of the restaurant except for this section. So if you guys want to just squeeze in here, that would if that's okay. And he was like, oh, absolutely not. We want to sit over there and that side of the restaurant, which had been closed for hours. Like that was already vacuum swept everything. So, but what can I say? It's a corporate restaurant. I can't say no. So they decide to go into the closed side of the restaurant so they can have that whole space to themselves. He, space to themselves. They did have kids, so the kids are running around like crazy. And um, on top of all of this, causing all this trouble coming in last minute, they ordered burgers and steaks and they wanted them all well done. <laughs> Anyone who knows anything about well done meat, it takes a while to cook. So not only were we there way longer than we were supposed to be, you know, it was prolonged even more because it's one of the most like lengthy things that you can order like long time to cook kind of things that you can order so my cooks was were so angry but I was like please make sure they're well done because I'm not gonna have them send them back if they send them back I'm gonna be pissed just make sure 
that they're well done so that you don't have to put them back on the grill and we don't have to prolong this any more than we already are. Luckily, they were fully cooked all the way through and this family was very much like, sometimes they're rude, like they're very demanding in the way of like where they wanted to sit, they expected to be taken care of, this and that, but in other ways they're really nice. Always saying please and thank you, they had good manners. However, the children were running around rampant um, and I'm also not going to disclose what it was that we give out at the table prior because it'll give the restaurant away, but let's just say we I gave them a few bowls of that and um, it was all over the floor. Like the entire side of the restaurant, everywhere, all over the floor, which had already been cleaned. So then after all this, I also had to vacuum all over again. And on top of it, their bill was about, I wanna say it was like, over 100, but definitely not close to 200, like under 150, I would say, between one and 150. I can't remember exactly. So normally you would tip 20%, right? Two for every 10. So about $20 I was hoping for. And honestly, it's just etiquette. If you're going to make someone stay much longer for their job, like when you're a server and bartender, you usually anticipate being there at least a half an hour and probably to 45 minutes past close on busy weekends. It could be a little bit more, but you gauge that time. What if I have a child at home and I have a babysitter that I have to get home to or they need to go to bed, they have school in the morning. Like there's a lot of factors of why I think it's so rude to make people stay so much later to their job. You don't know what other commitments they have. They could be having someone who is going out of the way to pick them up if they don't have a car and now you've inconvenienced them too. So if I've ever done it, because I've done it a couple times too where I've had to go to a restaurant really late at night, I make sure that I tip a little bit more to make sure that it is worth it for them and that I am very like low key and not needy or running around like crazy or causing a mess. But here we are. <sighs> do you wanna know what they tipped me? Do you wanna know? <laughs> the father comes up to me and says, thank you so much. You are so great. You really made our night. Now we can finally get to the hotel and go to sleep. I don't remember why these people are in town, by the way, but whatever. We can finally go to the hotel and relax. Thank you so much. You have a great night. And then he has cash in his hand and goes, this is for you, sweetie. It was a $5 bill. I'm getting angry all over again just thinking about it. Why? Okay. <sighs> Okay, here's what gets me, especially with bigger parties, okay? I know the kids aren't paying for dinner, but like, let's say you have a party of 10, like they had a party of 10, I believe it was. Y'all couldn't even give me a dollar? That's not even a dollar for every person. What? I was so frustrated and I actually think I almost cried a little bit because I was so mad, I was so tired and I just wanted to get home and then I stayed literally an hour and a half after close almost to make an additional $5. And then I had to like re-clean and basically re-close that whole section, so. There are people like this. There are people like this. So, this was back in the day when I worked at like a restaurant that served ice cream. Y'all can probably guess what it is, but again, I'm not gonna disclose that information. Um, and I was getting this man his ice cream order. And he used to do this all the time, but I didn't know that he did this all the time and that he was, a, he was apparently a regular, but it was my first time having him because I typically didn't work this shift. I don't remember what kind of shift it was, but it typically I didn't work it and he always came in on the shift and did this to everyone. But I didn't know and no one told me. No one told me. No one warned me as I'm walking up to him. No warning. He orders his uh, ice cream sundae and he said that he wanted extra strawberry topping, which is extra. Like, hence the extra term, it's extra money. You feel? Like that's normally what happens to be expected. So. I'm like, okay, great. We make it for him, everything. And then I cash him out and I say it's, let's, <coughs> oh my God. I think it was $5.35. Like I actually think I remember the exact price because it's ingrained in my mind. So I think I was like, $5.35, please. And he goes, um, excuse me, what did you just say to me? And I was like, sir, your total is $5.35. He goes, um, no, it's not. Check that again. Do you not know who I am? Apparently, then he goes on to tell me that he always gets extra strawberry topping, but no one ever charges him for it because he is a regular and keeps the place going with his once a week, $5 Sunday. So I said, oh my gosh, I'm so, so sorry. Um, let me get my manager and take that out for you. Because again, another corporate place, gotta just do it. 
So uh, he hated me after that. Any time that he came in and I was working, he would give me a death glare and I would just not go and take that order. I hate when people come in and they're like, do you know who I am? Actually, a guy, let's tell, let's tell another little quick story. I had another guy who uh, I served recently and uh, he asked, uh, he asked if he could have something like specific if it was still on the menu and I was like, no, I'm sorry, it's not. And he goes, do you even know who I am? And I was like, uh, no. Should I? Enlighten me. And he kind of just like rolled his eyes at me and I was like, okay, well, and moved on to the next person. The whole night he was just like, do you even know who I am? Ugh. You're not even gonna tell me who you are. Tell me who you are. If you're so important. And I'll make a mental note. I'll make a note. But if you don't tell me, how am I supposed to know? And also, I don't care. I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't work at any super high-end places and I never have. So you don't come into a regular schmegular place and be like, do you know who I am? Like also, if you are some all high and mighty person, and, maybe, and he actually asked me, this guy too was like, do you even know how much I'm worth? I'm like, no. But uh, if you're worth a couple million, can you at least tip me like you're worth a couple million? Because 10% doesn't cut it, honey. And I hate when people do that. Oh God. I don't care how rich I ever am one day. If I ever am, I would never say something like that to someone. And you know what, half the time, it's the wealthy people who are really stingy. Just saying. I know you don't wanna, you don't keep your money by spending your money, but seriously, if you're a millionaire and you can't tip 20%, then. All right, this one is a little bit more ranty. I have a specific time that this happened, but this also has happened many times, but I have one specific memory in my mind. <laughs> now, as a young woman, server, bartender, you get hit on a lot. It's just how it is. I was working the bar one night, again, at a restaurant I worked at years ago, not disclosing, um, and this guy came in and he was around my age. I was, so I was probably like 22 at the time, maybe. So a few years ago. And he was definitely like in his 20s, maybe early 30s. So, and people always think that I'm older than I am. So maybe he thought I was older, but anyway. So he was extremely flirty right off the back. Very talkative, very sweet. Just chilling, you know? Just kind of like very nice guy. And I don't believe I was single at the time. No, I definitely was not single at the time. But, you know, as a bartender server, you kind of have to like flirt a little bit sometimes, at least back so that it's not awkward. But there's a line that you don't have to cross, of course, but like being overly friendly is also always taken as like flirting. That's just how it is, because men don't understand the difference. Um, so he's real nice to me, real talkative, gets an expensive dinner, like just chilling, and it's close to close, and he, you know, pays his bill, and he says, I'm gonna go, and I'm going to go to so-and-so, whatever bar. If you wanna meet up there, let me know, and I'll meet you there. And I was just like, okay, sure, like, I'll let you know, you know, maybe I'll see you, maybe I won't, have a great night, blah, 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 you know, very nice. And he was like, my number's on the receipt. I'm like, okay, you know, as if I'm ever going to. You know what's funny, too? You have to turn in those receipts to, like, your bar manager or the owner, which is just funny when people write their phone numbers on it because it's like, I don't get to keep it. <laughs> and the manager always gets to see it, so anyway. So he writes his phone number down. His tab was $50, around $50 just for himself, so he had a nice little tab tipped me five dollars. Where do you expect to get with me for five dollars? You gotta tip me at least 20%, but honestly, more like, you gotta tip me at least 25%. You gotta stand out from the rest. You gotta tip me like 20 bucks if you think you're gonna get any. Did that work? Did that ever work for him? I really wanna know. But luckily, he didn't come in again, I don't think. I think he took the hint and didn't wanna see me again, so he never came in again. There we go. But tip for the boys. If you're gonna hit on a bartender, you gotta tip her at least 20%, I would say 25. Otherwise, you're stupid. Now, I think I was 23 when this happened. I was serving, or no, I was bartending. Um, and a single guy comes in, like one person by himself, and he comes in, He's get, you can tell he's kind of getting a nice dinner for himself. He orders a glass of wine and gets a steak. Um, he asked a really stupid question, which I'll insert just because I think it's funny, but we had like a 12 ounce steak on the menu and that's what he ordered and he goes, how big is the 12 ounce steak? <laughs> so I already knew that like not everything was right up here, so I was just, but I didn't think it was going to get to this point. So anyway, he was dumb, but he, you know, I thought he was a nice guy. <laughs> So he orders a steak, I believe he ordered it medium rare, that's usually the temperature, whatever he ordered it. So then someone else ran his food. 
I at the moment was not behind the bar or whatever I didn't run his food so he gets his food and I hear because I'm in I'm at like a table I don't remember why I maybe I was bringing a drink to a table or something for a server and so I wasn't there and I hear Ugh! from the bar uh okay so I finish what I'm doing and I walk over and I'm like is everything okay <laughs> And he goes, my steak isn't cooked right. I asked for it medium rare. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Can I can I take a look at it? Because I was like to see where they cut in because I'm just curious like if my interpretation of medium rare is wrong or their interpretation of medium rare is wrong, even though it's kind of a universal thing. Anyway, and he goes, oh, I didn't cut into it yet. And I was like, okay, well, would you like to? And then we can actually see what it looks like in the middle. And he was just like, no, I can just tell it's cooked wrong. And I was like, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have the cooks in the back check on it and we'll bring you a new one like we'll get it out to you right away and I verified again you wanted it medium rare right and he was like yes please I would appreciate that and I'm like okay so I go to the back and I go to the kitchen manager and I'm like uh, he won't cut into it but he says it's not cooked right he wanted it medium rare it looks from the outside to me like it'd be medium rare you can kind of get to like tell those things when you've seen 20 million steaks in your life and the um the kitchen manager was like, rolled his eyes. He's like, I know it's cooked well. If anything, it would be under than over. So I'm just gonna throw it back on for like a minute just to kind of get it like hot again. And then we'll just serve it back to him. I won't cut it or anything. And I was like, okay. So sounds like a plan. We can always cheat you guys. We know your tricks. So you guys aren't slick at all. He keeps it off the grill for a minute to make it seem like he's cooking it a little bit longer. So I go back to this guy and I'm just like, hey, they definitely agree. It was a little bit under, so we're gonna go ahead and put it back on the grill for you. And he was like, okay, great, I appreciate it so much. So I wait like three to five minutes maybe and I go back and I was like, okay, just put it back on the grill for two seconds, like each side, get it nice and warm again and then let me bring it out. So I go ahead and then I bring it back out to him and I was just like, how does that look? And he goes, oh my God, so much better. All it needed was a couple more minutes, looks great. I knew it. I knew that's all it needed. I feel like people just want to be difficult sometimes and it's like, why? You could have been enjoying your steak five minutes earlier. I don't know, man. I digress. I don't even try to understand these people because there's just no point to it. Like, I'm not ever going to understand them and I'm always the... I'm never going to understand why people are the way that they are. Luckily, I feel like no one in these stores are like super, super mean to me. If you work in a restaurant or have before or customer service or retail, anything like that, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it'll really help my channel and it'll help spread the word of how you should not act towards customer service, retail, restaurant workers because we work really hard and we don't deserve that. How would you feel if you were in our shoes, you know? Please subscribe if you haven't already for more content. Also, I already posted in the description box if you haven't been down there yet. Um, I am doing a fundraiser. Because I could not upload a new video on the first, I'm just going to continue last month's fundraiser. So that info, if you're interested, will be in the description box below as well as the link to that video that I'll be raising money for. So thank you so, so much for watching and I hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye.